Hey guys, what's up? It's Eric coming back to you with another video. Uh, today I got this 2011 Chevy pickup truck. It's a 2500 HD. Customer complaint is that the wipers, windshield wipers stay on. Even when the truck is off, the windshield wipers just keep going. Right now, a uh, customer ha actually has the fuse taken out. So that's why the wipers are not on. But let me go ahead and put the fuse back in and let me show you what it's doing. All right, so I've got the hood open. Take you over to the fuse box. And uh, you'll notice these wires uh, hanging over here. The customer actually had, uh, I guess a buddy of his, uh, wire up a switch on the inside of the truck. And I guess what they did was uh, they stuck it in place of the fuse uh, so that whenever he needed the windshield wipers, he had a little switch inside that he would just flick on and off. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and rip that out. Uh, let me show you what's going on. So here's a 25 amp fuse that goes uh, in this slot right here. And by the way, you'll notice that this uh, fuse box is pretty dirty. Um, even though there is a cover for it, um, but it's still just, I don't know how it got this dirty. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this fuse back in here. All right, got the fuse in. As you can see, the wiper blades are going and the truck is actually off. I got the keys are not in the ignition and the truck is not on, but the wipers just keep on going. So uh, let's go ahead and pull up a wiring diagram for the system and let's get ourselves familiarized with how this thing works. All right guys, so I've got the wiring diagram pulled up over here. I'm gonna go ahead and give you kind of an overview of how this system works. Over here on this side, we have the turn signal switch uh, that's on the steering column. And this is where you select the speed of the wipers. Uh, if you look, we have a series of resistors in here and depending on what position you put this in, it's going to send a different voltage to each one of these wires. These voltages get sent to the uh, BCM, the body control module, which is over here on the left side. If you look, it says body control module. So what happens is that the body control module is looking for what signal is being sent from the turn signal switch. And then from there, it's going to send an output to the fuse box. So on this wire right here, the body control module is gonna send an output and it's going to control the windshield wiper motor. So this is the motor over here and it's going to send power through these two relays right here, which get power through this fuse. Depending on what speed you have it on, you're either gonna have power on this uh, dark green wire or on this purple wire right here. What's real important is if you look, these relays for the wipers are actually PCB relays. So uh, these relays are not replaceable. They're actually built into the fuse box. Uh, that may make it a little bit more difficult uh, for troubleshooting and also for repair because if one of these relays is bad, then you know we're not gonna be able to just pop it out and put a new one in. Uh, that's gonna require the replacement of the whole fuse box. So what I wanna do is I wanna concentrate on the turn signal switch. So the easiest way to do this is actually to go ahead and hook up a scan tool. We're gonna hook up a scan tool and we're gonna get data PIDs on these signals right here. So what I wanna see on the scan tool is when I move the turn signal switch, is the BCM recognizing that the switch is in a certain position or whatever position we're putting it in. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so here we are inside the truck. I've got the scan tool hooked up. I'm gonna to go to the body control module. We're gonna to go to live data. And let's look for wipers. Wiper washer right here. All right, and what we wanna pay attention to is uh, wiper relay command. Uh, let's look at the wiper switch. The wiper delay setting, I think that's gonna be the important one right there. And the wiper high speed switch. So, oh, and then the uh, relay command. Well, really, let's concentrate on all of these. All right, so the wiper switch is over here. Uh, right now it's in the off setting, but I'm gonna go ahead and click it to the first setting. As you can see, the uh, wiper switch is intermittent. And if you look at the wiper relay command is on, and we are in the delay setting number one. So I'm gonna to go to number two. As you can see that updated to number two. Wiper relay command is on. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to number three. Number three. I'm gonna switch to number four. There's four. Uh, five. And then finally the uh, high. All right, so this is all the way on high. 
if you look at the uh, wiper high speed relay command is on all right so what that tells us is that the turn signal switch itself is good and everything between the turn signal switch and the BCM is good so uh, let's go ahead and jump to the fuse box next all right guys so before we do anything else I want to take you back to the wiring diagram to give you a better understanding of how the system really works what we're going to concentrate on is going to be the output side of this we've already checked the input side which is the turn signal switch and the signals that it sends to the BCM so we know that everything there is good what we need to concentrate is on the output side which is uh, everything that's outputting to control the windshield wiper motor so follow me along and uh, hopefully you uh, can get a better understanding of how this works so first thing that needs to happen in order for these wipers to turn on is the BCM needs to send a power on this wire right here and it's gonna go through this relay coil winding on the control side and it's going to ground itself at this ground right here which is located on the lower left front of engine what's going to happen is that that's going to magnetize the coil winding here which is going to flip this switch to this position right here so uh, just imagine in its natural state when there is no power going through this it is not energized the relay is not energized uh, it's just normally in this state right here where it just it, it's going back to a ground so when we energize this relay this switch is going to flip here and if we follow this back you'll see that there's a fuse right here so if you follow conventional theory as far as uh, current flow you'll see that up here it says hot at all times this is where our power feed is coming from this is coming directly from the battery these little dots right here are splices so uh, it's just uh, spreading the power feed uh, throughout the circuit here but let's follow it uh, along this particular circuit so power is getting fed from the battery through here through this fuse which is the one that we've removed in order to stop this uh, wiper motor from running all the time uh, power is getting fed through it it is going to follow through here and when this relay is energized this switch is closed it's going to send power up through here through the high speed wiper relay power is going to go through here down through the purple wire we follow this purple wire down to the motor the windshield wiper motor this is the low speed setting okay so whenever the wipers want to run on a low speed this is what it's going to use again bcm is going to send the power out through here energize this relay the switch is going to close power from this fuse is going to travel through that switch it's going to go through the other relay because in this relay the high speed relay in its normal state is in this closed position and so that's going to send power down through the uh, purple wire here that's going to send power to the motor that power from the motor is then going to travel through this black wire which is a ground if you look up here uh, in the fuse box there is a splice and that power is going to travel down to this ground right here so this ground is also the ground for the windshield wiper motor itself the delay the intermittent part of it the bcm itself has an internal timer so depending on what setting you put it in one two three four or five it's going to turn on and off power to this relay right here now when you switch this thing to the high speed something different happens we're going to utilize this relay over here and let me show you how it works again we have this power feed that comes from the battery that power is going through the coil winding of this relay it comes out on this tan wire let me take off these highlights right here uh, so it's going to go down on this tan wire and that tan wire goes back to the BCM so at all times there is a 12 volt power feed just waiting for the BCM to do something with it so when the BCM decides it's time to go into high speed this BCM is going to ground this circuit and when it grounds the circuit it's going to energize this uh, coil winding here inside the relay that's going to magnetize and it's going to close this switch when it closes this switch the same power feed that comes from this fuse is going to travel up through this relay now here's the real important part this relay on the high speed cannot work unless the BCM is sending a power through here to energize this relay and close this circuit so this high speed does not work without this relay being energized power from the fuse is going to go up through this relay 
and it's going to come out on this side because this relay is energized that switch is closed power is going down through this circuit and it's going to come out on this dark green wire this dark green wire is the power feed that's coming out to the wiper motor okay and that's on the high speed again it gets grounded through the same circuit which is this black wire and it has that splice inside the fuse box which goes back out to this black wire that leads to the ground so hopefully you were able to follow me on that now the other part of this is the park signal so that's going to be this switch right here all it is is it's telling the bcm when the wipers are in the park position so the way this works is the bcm is going to send a small voltage out to this uh, wiper motor and whenever the wipers are in the park position it's going to close the switch and that's going to ground the circuit so that's going to tell that the the bcm that the wipers are in the park position all right so hopefully you guys were able to follow me on that i know it's a little bit complicated but uh understanding this is really going to help us in troubleshooting it so uh, probably the easiest thing to do here is we're going to go ahead and put the fuse back in and then we're going to use a meter and we're going to uh, check to see where we have power do we have power coming in on this green wire or on this purple wire because that's going to tell us a lot about uh, what system here is staying on even when the key is off so let's go ahead and do that all right so we're back at the vehicle i've got my power probe hooked up over here and uh what i want to do is i want to go ahead and pull this grommet out of the firewall and that's going to give me access to the wiring harness that's in here and this wiring harness goes to the uh, wiper motor as you can see somebody's already been here uh, the wiring is still intact it just looks like somebody uh, maybe had tried to do some testing on this so if you look here we can identify the green wire and the purple wire which is again the green is for the high speed the purple is for the low speed so what I want to do is I'm going to use a piercing probe tool to pierce these wires individually and we're going to see uh, where the power is coming from that's turning these wipers on so I'm going to start with the green wire got my little uh, piercing probe here if I can get a good bite on there. All right, so now that I've got that hooked up, I'm gonna go ahead and stick the fuse back in. As you can see, the wipers came on. The vehicle is off, the key is out of the ignition, and we're going to use the power probe, and we're going to touch this to see if there's power. All right, as you can see, we do have power on this green wire. I'm showing 12.3 uh, volts. All right, so now I'm hooked onto the purple wire. I'm gonna go ahead and touch it with my power probe. And it does not look like we have any power on the purple wire. You know what, just to double check, because I've been fooled before by this uh, piercing tool, uh, sometimes the wire just does not get in the right spot for that little, uh, that little piercing uh, uh, pointer to get in there. So uh, I'm using this clip right here. This alligator clip actually has like a, a bed of spikes for getting a good piercing on the wire. Let's go ahead and touch it. So as you can see, we actually do have voltage on the purple wire. If you look down at the meter here, it's saying about 7.3 volts. So it, it's power, but it's not a strong power. All right, so back to the wiring diagram. Hopefully you guys are following me here. Uh, what we did was we went to the windshield wiper motor uh, to see where the power was coming from that's getting to the motor. And what we found was on this dark green wire, uh, there was system voltage reaching the motor. This dark green wire is for the high speed. Uh, we also did find that on the purple wire, there was uh, a small amount of voltage, but uh, looking at the wiring diagram, uh, what I believe that small voltage to be is just EMF from the motor running. So uh, that's probably normal. I'm not worried about what we saw on the purple wire. I'm worried about what we saw on the green wire. So. There is power getting to this motor on the high speed circuit. All right, so we know that power on this green wire comes from this uh, high speed wiper relay. The possibility that this relay could be stuck closed uh, is a possibility. The only problem is, remember, this relay will not operate 
or it will not get power unless the other relay is also energized. So this relay cannot work by itself. The chance is that this relay being stuck closed, um, it's possible, but it still wouldn't cause the problem that we're having unless this relay was stuck in the opposite position. What we need to look at is the possibility that the BCM is sending a power here and also uh, grounding the circuit over here. More than likely, the problem is just inside the fuse box. Somewhere there's a short to power on this particular uh, wire here and it's causing power to get sent to this uh, green wire, which is the windshield wiper motor. Um, but we need to cover all our bases here. So what we need to do is we need to gain access to the fuse box connectors and we need to uh, locate this connector here or this pin here, which is the X5 connector uh, K1 and this pin over here, which is X5 K3. So we need to locate those two pins and we need to make sure that there isn't a power here when there shouldn't be and that there isn't a ground here when there shouldn't be. All right, so gaining access to the bottom of the fuse box where the connectors are is actually not that difficult. Um, I'm gonna show you, there's a couple of tabs here on the side for these levers. You just unclip those. Then you can lift up on these levers. There's one lever. There's the other lever. We'll lift up on these. Uh, push them together and then we're gonna lift up all right so once you lift up on it a little bit you're actually gonna just spread these back apart and that should push it up the rest of the way and then you can flip this box over and gain access to the connectors underneath so we have those two connectors and then these other connectors here so we're gonna have to identify which one is X5 all right so if we look at this layout of the underside of the fuse box you'll see that this connector here is the X5 connector and we're looking for the row of K, which is right over here at the end. So we're looking for pins K1 and K3. And that's gonna be a tan and a gray wire. So let's go back to the fuse box. All right, so I've got the back probe on the tan wire. Uh, one of the things I wanted to address here is that we actually do have two connectors that are not connected right now. Uh, this harness setup makes it kind of really tight fit uh, to lift up the box and then we have to disconnect all these. Uh, but what I can tell you right now is I'm not worried about these connectors and let me show you why. First thing, I have the fuse for the wiper motor put in. Uh, the wipers are not running right now, but that's because this part right here, this terminal, actually sits right into this connector right, right here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use a jumper wire and I'm going to attach it to that terminal. And then the other end of it, I'm going to stick in this end. All right, so when I do that, the wipers are running. Again, the ignition is off, but the wipers are running. So what that tells me is that uh, anything involving these two connectors that are laying there, uh, it, it doesn't matter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take the probe and we're going to check to see what we have on that T-pin. All right, so I've got my power probe here. I'm gonna go ahead and touch the T-pin on that tan wire. As you can see, we have system voltage on there. That's good. Let's go ahead and move on to the gray wire. All right, so I'm about to touch the T-pin on the gray wire. And if you can see, we actually do have a voltage here. We have about 10 volts. Uh, it's not enough to make my meter make any noise, but there is 10 volts there, which I don't believe there should be any voltage here. So uh, let's go back to the wiring diagram. All right, guys, so I decided to come back to the wiring diagram. And uh, what I actually found was a couple discrepancies with this wiring diagram that uh, I'm showing on Mitchell. Um, so let me show you uh, what I found on all data because all data actually uh, gives you the uh, OEM manufacturer drawn up wiring diagram. So this is uh, an original from GM wiring diagram. What Mitchell does is they, uh, they um, redraw the wiring diagram and they give it like this kind of uh, interactive, really cool um, way that you can highlight everything, but it's essentially it's a redrawn um, Wiring diagram from the original manufacturers one. So uh, when I go back to all data the original manufacturer wiring diagram, so <clears throat> If you look it's essentially 
pretty much the same thing. We have the uh, wiper low speed relay and the high speed relay. And um, if you look over here, what you'll notice is that when we come out on the low speed side, the wire is actually a dark green wire. And when we flick this uh, relay to the high speed, the wire is actually the purple wire. So I noticed that and I thought that was kind of funny because um, when you recall on the other wiring diagram, it's actually backward. So if you look on the Mitchell diagram, they're saying that the low speed when you output over here uh, is to the purple wire, not to the green wire. The way this wiring diagram is drawn up, the green wire is the high speed and the purple wire is low speed. Uh, and it actually says it here too. It says here, wiper low speed. Uh, uh, well, this is talking about the diode, but it's referring to the circuit right here. And the low speed circuit is to the dark green wire. And then wiper high speed diode is referring to the high speed purple wire. So it's like they actually got this mixed up. So these two should be flipped around. But granted, I may be using a really outdated version of Mitchell. I'm not gonna lie. But this is still really important to understand that sometimes Mitchell can get wiring diagrams wrong because, like I said, they redraw them from what the original manufacturer uh, provides. So this can be a man-made error. And maybe they've already fixed this in the updated version of it, but this is something that I need to watch out for. And you guys should always, you know, if something doesn't make sense, then, you know, just judge, you know, trust your instincts and maybe go back and try to look at the original equipment wiring diagram so if we're following this wiring diagram this makes a lot more sense because when we check to see what power was at the wiper motor uh, when the key is off and the key is out of the ignition we see power on this uh, dark green wire this dark green wire we were assuming before that it was the high speed but what i noticed was that the wipers were not moving that fast they were kind of moving at a moderate speed so it makes sense now that we understand that the dark green wire is not for high speed dark green wire is for low speed okay and what we just noticed when we checked at the t-pin we have power going here we have power coming from the bcm even with the key off so power is coming from the bcm through this coil winding right here closing this relay uh sending the power from this fuse through this relay uh out through the other side of the relay and out uh, through this dark green wire. So this is why our wipers are staying on continuously. Uh, next thing I want to do is I want to go back to this uh, gray wire where I have the T-pin um, because I want to make sure that that voltage is coming from the BCM. That's the next That's the next step. All right, so we're back over here at the fuse box. And remember, this is the gray wire that's coming from the BCM. The wipers are running continuously, and like I said, if you pay attention, they're not running that fast. They're not at full speed. They're kind of at a moderate speed. So we know that when we check this with the power probe, there is power coming from the BCM. Now, in, in order to verify that, or what I can do to prove this to you, this is the gray wire that's coming from the BCM going to here where I have the T-pin attached. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this wire. It's no big deal. I can simply just repair this wire. It's really easy. So I'm going to cut this and we're going to see if the wipers shut off. So here we go. I just cut that wire right now. And the wipers are still running. All right, so I got the power probe here. I'm going to go ahead and touch it. And look at that. We have voltage on that circuit. Even though this wire is cut coming from the BCM, we still have voltage at this terminal. What does that tell us? The problem is not with the BCM. The BCM is okay. The problem has to be inside of this fuse box. All right, guys, I really hope that makes sense. Um, I'm trying to do the best I can to explain to you guys uh, how the circuit design works and how I was able to come up with the conclusion that our problem had to be with the fuse box. So hopefully you're able to follow me and hopefully I'm doing a good enough job of explaining to you how everything works. And again, how we were able to determine that the problem was in the fuse box, not with the BCM, not with the turn signal switch, not with the motor, not with anything else. The problem has to be inside of this fuse box. So I'm gonna go ahead and get one on order 
and we're gonna go ahead and install it. Hopefully I can get one today. All right, so we've got the new fuse box installed. The truck is running right now. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the hood. All right, as you can see, the wipers are not on. The truck is running. Let me go ahead and turn the switch here. I'm gonna set it to high. All right, wipers are working fine. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off. All right, now let's shut the truck off. And it looks like the wipers are not staying on anymore. So let me start it back up. Wipers are still off. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and set this all the way to high. And the wiper blades are working. That's fixed. fix. All right guys, I just wanted to say thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button. If you enjoy the channel, please subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, you can always comment down below. I hope to see you in the next one.